Hello, Matt here. In today's video, we continue to work on my R50 Mini. Hopefully, by installing this, which should go nicely with my custom 2.5 inch stainless exhaust. First off, let me show you what we did already. The car is stripped. We have tucked in the wiring so it can be seen that easily. Also, up here. With this, we reduced a bunch of weight, moved a bunch of weight into the back. We have some custom seats, don't mind this. I'm waiting for a new handbrake cable. No stereo. Well, no creature comforts at all because this should be a weekend slash track car. So, driving, low weight. That was the main point. And you can see we removed a bunch of weight up here too. So, what's next? Well, we tried to get the header in. But, before that, let me just show you the exhaust, the custom exhaust we have, and also the work that's been done on the rear end. I don't know if you can see how the lighting situation is, but we have R56 calipers, R56 trailing arms. Uh, yeah, it's black, but trust me, you can see it's adjustable. So, actually, you can see here it's adjustable. It's a white line onto the bar, and we have rust removed from the subframe and all painted black. That's what you do when you see a red door. Actually, when you see a rust. And now we continue the work by fitting this the cat header, and then we'll take a ride to see how it all sounds. We'll start by removing this heat shield this heat shield, well, a bunch of heat shields. Now, uh, you, if you have a stock mini, you'll start by removing all of these plastics, removing the battery and everything because you need the space to work. I don't have that. So let's start with the heat shields. The bolts are pretty rusted out, but I was able to access them only by removing this heat shield uh, that's held in by two 13 bolts with all the bolts out. And this thing is pretty loose. Time to go under the car. Everything should be undone. But it's still done. Wanna let go. Yeah, you didn't see it, but it's here. I had to bend it a bit. I had to unplug the coil. But it's out. Oh, and here's another O2 sensor. This one does not want to budge, so unplug it here, pull it down, there's a cable tile cut right now, and I'll try and take everything off. Now let's see if I can pull it out through here. Well, there goes my GoPro. Without this OMP strut brace, but it's out. Oof, and it's heavy. Ah, not so much. Actually, let's weigh them up to see if we're saving any weight. All right, let's do a bit of comparison. This one is a lot shinier. You can clearly see that. This is not a mandrel bend. So that's not the best, but whatever. Still should be better because 30 point, 34 point, let's say four. These ones are 37.64. So about three mil. Does it make any difference on a stock head? Probably not because the cylinder head ports are smaller. Should help with a ported head. And as I said, primaries are longer, which is good. Also, I prefer this style. I mean, I should check it out from the inside because it's probably welded horribly. Well, honestly, not that bad. Seen worse. So there's that. Even though this is the cheapest I could get, and I would like some other designs way better, does look pretty good so far. Now, the main part is about somewhere around here. 
where there should be a reduction. I mean, I should measure the inner di diameter because this is stainless steel. But I cannot, for the life of me, get in there. Okay, I did. 50. So we have 50 here. And we have 57 here. Fifty-eight. I mean, fifty-seven point five. You can see it's clearly bigger. And here we have a catalytic converter. Here, it's just a small resonator. So that's regarding the design. Also, it's a two-piece, so it should be easier to fit. And I plan on cutting this here making a flange so i can fit it right about here so i have a setup for the road and one for the track because you know i would never use a catalytic converter or no actually i would never use a decat pipe on the road i mean never <laughs> not in my wildest dreams also next up weight savings Eighty four for me. Ninety point five with the original one. And now for the aftermarket. Eighty eight point eight. Almost two kilos. One point seven. That's not half as bad. So yeah, as I said, should have a bit better flow, bit better design for uh, more horsepower and higher RPM, DCAT, and it's 2.7 kilos lighter. If it fits, I will call this a success. So let's try and fit it in the car. Now the final check, how it fits. Well, damn, that's like almost perfect. Just fucking kidding. Let me take you a few hours back. You've seen me review the weight, you've seen me review the design. Now, let's review the fitment. Don't buy this shit. Does not fit. Does not fit. Does not fit. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Here's the reason. Can you see? Yes, you can see it. It's all the way right. Going to the right. It should not be going that much, that far to the right. See, I cannot... Let me show you from down here. See? It's touching the heat shield, and there should be a O2 sensor coming right here where the pong is, so there's that. That does not fit. Now what will I do? I will cut it up and weld it up. So if you can cut up and weld the shit up, well then buy it. If not, uh, skip it. So here's the plan. I'll cut this weld from this point all the way through here. So two-thirds of the way in this circle bend it towards this side because this is where it needs to go and hopefully this will translate to even more of a bend here because one millimeter here should translate to like it's a lever so a few millimeters down here then I'll weld this out I mean I'll grind this out uh, plug the hole with something I don't know I'll find something Tap a new hole right here and weld this bong on to here. That's the plan so far. We'll see how it turns out and then we'll see if it will fit. We all know it won't, but hey, let's do it. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. So I've made a gap, around two millimeters thick, then bent it. Now, unfortunately, since I'm not cutting it all off, there will be a gap to weld over there. And also I missed with this weld. That's because, wait, breaking stuff now. That's because I'm not a freaking, how do you call that? There's a word I am missing. That's because I'm not a freaking fabricator. 
this should have gained me a few millimeters extra. So that really needs, I don't know, a rethink. Never mind, this will still need a bunch of work. Uh, especially because for some strange reason, from here on, I don't know if you can see it, it goes downwards. So basically, if I twist it around, then this does not have the right angle, that's for sure. And also then this bonk, O2 sensor bonk, goes on this side. And the O2 sensor is here, so... I don't know, you tell me. Hell, you can even see how crooked this shit is right here. This is where the lip is the biggest. And look, look at it here. I'll be honest, this Asian dude, whoever he was, I mean, it's China made, so he is an Asian, probably. Well, what I wanted to say is Seawalt's pretty good. Too bad he was too drunk or something to straighten things out. Now it's straight. Now it's almost on the lip. And now I'll take it in and it should be straight. Way, hey, 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 better. Except it's still this part. It's still way off to the right. Now, this has me thinking. Maybe I could do the same thing on these flanges and align it here but I'll probably warp the flange I'm not sure I'll be able to weld it in as good and it does look like it's going well it's going like it should over here it's just the lower part with the flexi joint that's uh, a problem so yeah this is this would be the right way to do it separate it here shorten these two, rotate it here like this, then it would have a better angle regarding those primaries. Uh, they are at the bad angle this way, either way, so. Anyways, what I wanted to tell you is, I have, I am in no way, shape or form capable of welding those in, if I, yeah, unweld them here. But what I am able to do is cut this off, shorten this part, which is not ideal. Which is far from ideal. But I can shorten then I can then shorten this, throw in a pie cut, weld everything back together, and should offset it enough. If not, as I said, I can still do it here. Let's cut this completely off and see where we are at. There. Now we need to see how it fits. And it fits like complete and utter shit. Yeah, getting from here to here with this piece, it'll. <laughs> I need a bend up there, then this here, and then a sharper bend here, which I don't have. Go fuck yourself, eBay! Alright, so this, with this, and this will work. Maybe. Just maybe. When I'm doing all of this shit, I should grind down this weld too, take this out and do as it was supposed to be done. Nah, no one's got time for that shit. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the moon. And the sun is going down, we have no light, and this is the phase we are at, because... Don't mind this gap, I don't know, I don't have the tools I need, I'm getting quite pissed about that, but... Okay, now, this is how it will be in the car, let me put it in the car and then I'll show you. As I said, we're losing daylight, you cannot see shit. Not see shit! God damn it! Well, it does come out a bit better, and then we will fit this here, but all this tomorrow when I can actually film stuff and show you. <coughs> this is the plan now, let's get this decked in. It should be in the middle, and then, as you can see, there's no test pipe. We'll have to shorten it a bit, but that's an easy work after this. Let's just put this on for now. 
this is now a way better fit and I should have enough just about enough room for an O2 sensor it's not welded in just stacked in for now but should work and the test pipe well the test pipe is flange length too long so let's shorten that out try to fit it all together and then weld it in it's basically in here I mean it fits it's basically in here I mean it fits a bit tight but the O2 sensor fits a bit tight but the O2 sensor fits now it's just a matter of tidying it up a bit and getting it fully welded and I'll come to you with the finished product told you I would show you the finished product so here it is all the welds have been covered because this time I was not using the stainless wire just the regular steel wire so they don't rust yet unfortunately I wish I could dig because I had problems getting in here couldn't get the nozzle in the way I want it so yeah it looks like it does but shouldn't leak should be sturdy and this here again I wish I could dig it would look way better but this should hold except I did puncture through a few times but hey should work should be good for now let's put it on a car and let's test out the sound all right it's mounted almost but here's to me being an idiot see when I remade this let me get under the car I mean <laughs> I only needed to rotate this flange, but no. I left this one as it is. And now, the fucking screw is up there, and I cannot access it. I mean, how daft can you be? Come on, Matthew, you, you're better than that. I could have rotated it like this. Actually, 90 degrees from that. And then I would have one screw here, the other one here. And they would be easily accessible. This way, I'm going to kill myself. Also, this needs to be redone because now it's too short. But hey, let's first sort that out. Finally, all tightened up, all done. You cannot see it from here. I didn't elongate this. I just well pulled it out of here. So I'll get a bit more travel and that's it. It's not ideal, but it does work for now. And time to start it up. Well, guess what? Starter motor decided to finally give up on me completely. So I will not be turning on the car. But at least you saw what happens when you buy cheap eBay stuff for your R50 Mini. Well, what should have been a two, maybe three hour uh, job of installing it and testing it out, turned into a whole day fabrication work. So yeah, good job eBay. You are slowly making me a fabricator. Thank you very much for that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, as always, Please give it a like, it means a lot. You know the algorithm, likes the likes, likes the subscriptions. So yeah, like, subscribe, share, helps the channel grow. As I always say, the bigger the channel, the bigger the projects. For now, this is it. And as always, I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.